Hey guys, it's me and I'm coming to you today to talk about my complete flop of a U-part wig. So if you want to hear my rambling going on about a U-part wig, stay tuned. Okay guys, so I decided to jump on the bandwagon and go and get me and make me a U-part wig and I was going to make it out of this hair. Well, I guess what you get from what I'm saying, I didn't get to make it out of this hair. I did go to Sally's and I purchased the bag, the, um, the correct cap. And this is going to be a lesson for all of you guys that's going out there to plan on all and want to make one for yourself. Listen to what I got to say. Therefore, you won't make the same stupid mistakes that I made. So I got home and um, decided to make the U-part wig. And I put the cap on my head. And with the cap, I marked out my U for my closure. I marked out where my temples were going to be. I marked out where my ears are going to be, and I marked out where the back of my hair starts. Well, so I'm sewing, and as I'm sewing, I'm watching Miss Fabulosity Time video. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but I'm watching her video and watching how she's sewing, and I'm following along, not realizing that it might be wise for me to go and measure my own head and that she might be sewing it towards her own head. So I sewed it and I completed the wig. And so here's a picture of the wig after it was completely done. Okay, so that's the wig that I did. Now it took me a day to do that. So then I went to work the next day and I actually wore my natural hair to work for a couple of days. So here's some pictures of that if you want to see. I know someone wanted to, I think Miss Shante, 72, she wanted to see what my natural hair looked like now. So this is what the my hair looks like now. Okay, so the next day I came home with prepa in preparation to put the part you part wig in. I decided to sew my hair down, I mean to braid my hair down similar to a, the way I saw Miss Bossy sew hers down. So basically, I uh, created a perimeter braid here and perimeter braids down here and then I just uh, braided all those back. I didn't braid them really neat because I knew they were going under the cap and boom, ready. So I get all those braids down, ready to go, put on the cap and what happens? The hair stops back here. So I did not measure properly and the tracks were stopping way back here where my hair stops back right here. So I'm steady trying to stretch this cap, stretch, stretch, stretch. So I said, okay, well, I'm going to sew the closure on first, then force the cap to go onto my head. So I forced the cap to go onto my head, sew the closure down. Now, mind you, all of this braid is completely showing, but by the way and how thick the hair is, it falls in front so it's okay i finished sewing it down go take a shower by the time i get out the shower the u part has popped and then the back is sitting right here on my head so i'm like okay what do i do boom take the u part off of my head take unbraid my entire head so i said okay it doesn't fit so what i'll do is i'll leave some hair out wear it for a week and then re-sew the thing out so i leave all of this hair out in the back. My you out, hair out in the back. That didn't work. It still wouldn't stick. So I decided, well, I'll sew some clips on the wig. So I had to go and buy me some wig clips, sew some clips. So I sewed some clips. If you look at the wig, I sewed some clips here, 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 and in the back. That thing was so tight and so not fitting my head that it was yanking at my sides. So that's it. I decided to forget that U cap. Here is the cap. Now here is the cap that I made and I cut up and this is the ending of the cap. Here's the U part. I just had to take the tracks out take the tracks off of the cap and just put it on my head and just try again. So some of the rules that you should learn is measure, 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 measure your head. 
and just because of the way it goes on when you sew it is not going to be the way it goes on when you put it on this cap that's definitely for sure um not only measure i would say throughout the period of put uh, sewing the cap come back and try it on and make sure everything is lining up appropriately um so that way you won't have this going on like i did um, the last thing I say is I cut the U too short. So when you measure your U and um, you see where it's supposed to go, I would say put one more track on the inside just for safekeeping. Also to hide the uh, track that goes around the very end of the U, I would sew the track around the bottom and then fold it over so that way it automatically hides the U and it makes it look like the tracks are coming out of your head. Um, and then last but not least, if you can go without cutting the stretch band, like I cut up the stretch band on it because just trying to make it fit, if you can try to sew down to the stretch band and not cut the stretch band that's on it, definitely do that so this video is about what not to do when making a u-part wig and hopefully next time i will make a successful u-part wig it looks good but it just did not fit my head to complete all right so that's pretty much it if you guys uh oh so that's pretty much it if you guys want to see this look i did do a video on this look so search through i guess i could put it at the bottom bar but that's pretty much it for me for, that's pretty much it for me guys so um, if you have any questions feel free to ask me other than that thanks for watching bye